Hi, I'm Mr. Franklin and welcome back. In this video, I actually want to build a couple of atoms for you and then show you how to how I want you to draw the atoms for this class. Keep in mind that this is for physics and not chemistry. So there are some things that I'm going to be leaving out. So first thing, when we put a proton in the middle of an atom, that proton determines what the element is. So we got hydrogen. Now, a proton is positive. So right now, this hydrogen is considered positively charged. It has a mass of one because the proton actually carries the mass of the atom and the, and the charge. And so now we have a positive ion. But when I add an electron to it, okay, it cancels out the negative and now we result with a neutral atom. Usually a stable atom of hydrogen only has one proton, no neutrons and one electron. If I add neutrons, I get what's called an isotope and those basically are used to make heavy water and are used in nuclear processes, etc. It's one proton, one electron. Its natural tendency is to actually lose an electron. It's really easy for it to lose an electron. electron. So hydrogens usually are positive ions. So they usually carry a positive charge um, if they are without their electron. Now, if I add another proton, we now have helium, but helium actually in nature comes with two neutrons and two electrons. So that's what a helium atom would look like. And then if I added another proton, we actually get lithium, like your lithium ion batteries. Lithium is one of the main chemical elements used. And in general, it has four neutrons, three protons, and three electrons. So notice this electron went to another ring, okay? And there's all kinds of rules on that, but first ring only holds two, second ring only holds eight, third ring can hold up to 18 can hold up to 18 okay and it can be quite a bit more complicated after that so how do i draw this so let's go back to our say on a test how to draw an atom of hydrogen so what i want you to do when i ask you that is you're going to do this you're going to i will probably tell you draw an atom of hydrogen with one proton and one electron so you're gonna write P positive for the proton, E negative for the electron, and make the electron go around the proton in a circle, and the atom is complete. That is hydrogen, pretty simple. So let's draw an atom of lithium. So if I'm gonna draw this, I would go P positive, P positive, P positive. So I got three protons, and then N zero, in zero, in zero, in zero. Now you can put those in circles if you want. I probably would myself, um, but sometimes that's messy and hard to see. Sometimes that will help you. So in this case, it's becoming messy. So I'm gonna kind of back up here, but I've got one, two, three protons. I've got it labeled with the charge and then one, two, three, four neutrons. And I'm gonna draw my first ring put electron here, an electron here, and another ring, and then put my third electron. Now what I wanted to notice, want you to notice is this electron is as far away from the other electron. Why? Because they are like charges and like charges repel. So they actually push each other apart. And that's true for all the electrons. So that's how you draw an atom. That's about as far as we're gonna get into it. There's a lot more rules that we could go into, but we're gonna save that for your chemistry class next year. Thank you, see you in the next video.